Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install Linux Mint 22.1 XFCE edition on VirtualBox. First we will download, then we will install the Linux Mint 22.1 XFCE edition. Okay, first go to Linux Mint official website that is linuxmint.com. Hit enter. See here, the latest release is Linux Mint 22.1. Click on download or click on download. Both are same. Click on download. Then see here we have the editions like Cinnamon, XFCE and Mate. Okay. For Cinnamon, you can search for my YouTube channel, how to download and install. In this video, we are going to download and install this XFCE edition. It is light, simple and efficient edition. Okay. See, XFCE is lightweight desktop environment. It doesn't support any support, it doesn't support as many features as Cinnamon, but it is a light on resource usage. Okay. So click on download. See its size is about 3 gigabytes. Scroll down. Click on any one of these mirrors. Then click on okay to download. Click on it. See download started. See its size is 2.7 gigabytes. I am cancelling this one because I have already downloaded Linux Mint 22.1 XFCE ISO file. Okay, so in your case, wait until download completes. Once the download is completed, then open VirtualBox. If you have to install VirtualBox on your machine, then there is a link in the video in this video description. You can go through it and you can install it. Open it. Now click on New or Machine and select New. Either is fine. Now we have to provide the name for the virtual machine. Name can be anything. Then select the path to store this virtual machine files and folders. This is the default location. If you want to save in some other location, click on drop down and select other. Then select the path where you have the anno space. Select the folder. Then select the downloaded ISO image. Click on drop down and select other. Then go to download. See here we have the XFCE 64 bit ISO. Click select it and click on open. See, once you select it, type change it to Linux, subtype to Ubuntu version 64 bit. And see here the checkbox skip, skip unattended installation. So select it. If you don't select, it will automatically install. Then come to hardware section. See, by default, memory selected as 2 gigabytes. I am going to increase it to 4 gigabytes. Number of CPU equals 2. Then come to hard disk. Here I am giving 100 gigabytes. It is up to you. Uh, these options are hardware and hard disks are based on availability. Then click on finish. Still, if you want to modify settings of this virtual machine, right click and select settings or click on settings or machine and select settings. All three options are same. Okay. If you are okay with all the settings, then click on start. Let me maximize it. Use up and down arrows and select the first one that is start Linux Mint and hit enter. See, this is the Linux Mint XFCE edition and this is for just testing purpose. But if you want to install this for permanently, right click on this install Linux Mint and select execute. Now select the language and click on continue. Select keyboard layout language and click on continue. I am going with all defaults. If you want to install multimedia codecs, you have to select the checkbox. Then click on continue. See, this is the fresh installation. So select erase disk and install Linux Mint. Then click on install now. Or if you want to go back and modify the settings, you have to click on back. So I am okay with the settings. Then click on install now. This is just confirmation. If you continue the changes, Listed below will be written to disk. Otherwise, you will be able to make further changes manually. Okay. Click on continue. Now select your location. I am from India. So by default, it has selected. But if you want to select like US region, you can select here on the globe. Okay. Then click on continue. Now we have to create or set up user. 
so I am giving user full name as RTS schools and this is the computer name or host name. We can change this host name later also. This will be the username. This is the username and provide the password for this user. Confirm the same. Then click on continue. See installation has been started. This will take time. I am going to pause this video and at the end it will ask us to reboot the system. Then we will reboot the system and we will perform the post installation steps. In meantime please subscribe my channel for more tutorials. See installation has finished. You can continue testing Linux Mint now. But until you restart computer any changes you make or documents you save will not be preserved. Restart now for permanent installation. So click on restart now. See if cursor is not visible just write control key on your keyboard to release the cursor. See cursor is released. Also see here please remove the installation medium then press enter. Okay. So go to virtual box manager. See here in storage optical drive this must be empty. If it is not empty we have to click on here and we have to select remove disk from virtual drive ok it is already removed so go to virtual machine and hit enter to restart the Linux Mint 22 XFCE virtual machine see now we got the login screen see if you want to insert addition guest additions CD image you have to click on here ok then you can install to get the full screen now provide the password hit enter notice here on the desktop before we are having install Linux Mint icon now it is gone ok now open terminal let me increase the font go to file click on edit preferences close this one don't show this dialog at startup and select it and click on close edit preferences then appearance then select use font then unselect then click on here then increase the font by clicking on this plus button select it close it see here font size has been changed now verify the version that we have installed more slash etc os iphone release see we have installed linux mint 22 zi edition ok and its code name is zia control it the first step after connecting to Linux Mint 22.1 is we have to update the packages sudo apt update ampersand ampersand sudo apt upgrade hit enter then provide the password of sudo user hit enter it is going to upgrade 191 packages type a and hit enter for confirmation see upgradation is in progress this will take time. So, in this video we have seen how to download and install Linux Mint 22.1 XFCE edition on VirtualBox. For more tutorials, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.